Hey guys, Johnny Max Garage here. Haven't done a video forever. Just been slammed busy. Obviously, COVID slowed down a lot of my build progress on you know things I was working on and whatnot. Did manage to get a new pool building put up, so that should hopefully get us back on track for uh, the other what turned into the Hemi Clone Runner Road Runner project. But anyway, wanted to do a quick shout out today and focus on uh, my '74 Swinger here real quick and uh, do a little bit of a product review. So I paid for this radiator, it wasn't a gimme. I have no reason to do this uh, review other than the fact that the thing worked awesome and I'm super happy with it. So let me spin around here real quick. So this car would always go through the traps at probably 220 degrees, which is nervous for me. You got a ton of money tied up in an engine and you're cooking the thing down every time you go through the traps. I had a twin, just what I'll call a store brand, but twin row radiator with the largest single fan I could possibly put on it and the highest CFM. And no matter what I did, I could not keep this thing cool. Go through the traps at 220, uh, even idling with the fans running and everything or the fan running, it would never come back down to just idling temperature. It couldn't get it lower than 200. I had to physically shut the car off, let it cool back down between rounds. Not a good feeling. So I've been doing research and I called up Griffin Radiators and their big thing is they use twin inch and an eighth tubes. My other tubes were twins on the other little radiator, um, the store brand radiator. And it was also all aluminum construction and everything, but they were only like seven eighths. So I, I popped the cap and looked in there and there's no way they were even an inch. So pop this Griffin Radiator in here and just had this car running for 20 minutes. The thing finally with no fan running mind you creeped up to almost 200 which again that's no fan that's sitting still no fan sitting still finally got it to 200 right flick the fans on and i again i just wanted to get it warm and see what it would do when it idled uh fans sucked it right back down to like 160 170 degrees uh, so super happy with this thing i can't wait to see how it does at the track this car makes probably a little over 600 horsepower, maybe 620, 630, runs 10, 20s, might dip into the 9s this year with some other upgrades and changes I've made. But uh, anyway, yeah, just a big thanks to Griffin Radiator. Super happy with this thing. Again, I'd, I've never been able to keep this car under 220. Without the fan on, I was able to keep it below 200 and then flick the fan on, boom, 160, 165 degrees, and it, it cooled it right back down. So just super happy with it. We'll give you some more updates here when uh, we get her to the track.